Good morning. This is Frank with the Morning Quick Shot. Brought to you by Trace Tuckers and Enzo Pro Traders. It's Thursday, August the 4th, about 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. And for the next 5 to 6 minutes, I'm going to give you targets to the upside, targets to the downside, possible areas of consolidation, and then we're going to take a quick look at market profile to keep track of the big picture. Looks like this morning we got uh, 6.30 news Central Standard Time. Challenger job cuts. At 7.30 we got unemployment. 9 o'clock, we got factory orders and natural gas at 9 as well. So let's take a look at what happened last night. Looks like we had an overnight open of about 2157.75 right in here. And we just kind of dropped down to the 54.75 below the 24 hour VWAP and then got a good bounce right off of this overnight low and then right on up to the overnight high of 64.25. Currently in about a pullback, resting here at FIP support and looking to possibly move up to this area. Now this next area of risk is, is going to be kind of tough. This 64-65 area is going to be very, very tough to get through. So we need to be cautious of this as it comes back up here, maybe double top and, and maybe head back down. But if we can get through this area, we're looking to um, come up maybe to the 67 area right here, come back and retest this zone. We need to see if this overnight will hold. If it does, look for the next shot and go all up into this zone right up in here to 71-75 area. Expect to pull back in this area somewhere in here, about 70, maybe 69 area, as we try to go back up through this zone. And if we can break through, look for it to possibly go right on up to the 71, or yeah, 71, excuse me, 2175 area. Then look for a pair back to, to test this zone at the top at 7275. And then if possible, if we get right through here, we'll be testing the all time high of 7779 today up into this zone. Now, if we manage to get up into this zone, look for a pullback to retest this 75, possibly all the way back down into here. But if the bulls really keep hold of this market, we're going to step right back up into here and try to head up into this area in here. Look for a little breakdown, a lot of fight up into here as we move up in the 83 area, if that's at all possible, and then up into this zone 86. So keep an eye on this and um, be prepared for reversal at any point coming back down through here. So now let's move back down here. If we should come back down here, if we fail this double top or at the top of the zone and come right back down, look for this retest right here at uh, 59, top of the zone and where the 24 hour VWAP meets here. If it fails this, if it, if it holds this, look for the move right back up. However, if we fail this zone, test the overnight open here at 57 at the bottom of the zone, uh, possibility still to bounce off of this one. But more than likely you look for a test of this 56 area Big consolidation area possible today and this morning, at least pre-market. If it drops all the way back down, look for this pre-market of 56 all the way to the top of the zone at 59. If it breaks through here, of course, look for it to test the overnight lows of 59.75 and this FIB support right here at 52 in this 53, this little zone area right in here. Um, actually, if it breaks all the way down into here, be sure to watch for this yesterday's open as we go into here. And if there's a breakdown in this area and it closes below this, look for this retest of this FIB support, which will be resistance now, and then look for a move all the way down to yesterday's low of, what is it, 45.25 to retest this area. Somewhere in here, expect a reversal to move right on up and, and go back into the long scenario. So now let's take a look at market profile. All right. As we look right here, we can see what we've had. We were very bullish market. We still are. We just consolidated sideways all we did. This little pull back here remained at the 40 up. So we're technically, we're still bullish market here. Yesterday confirmed that with a close above 51. And then here we are opening up this morning and right back above this 60 area. Now we need to hold this 60 area for this to move on up to 67 is our first target. Up to the 2080 area for the next target area which would be a retrace and then look for move on up to the 87. Like we said, if you're a swing trader, open trader, good open this morning with a good uh, open with the news. We, you might see um, a good place for an entry. Uh, be nice to wait for about a 60 ret retry here and then to go long and expect this to move and, and actually put target one to 77, be a nice little run from 60 to 77 up there. And then possible pullback again as we double top into this area. But if it's truly a blocker, we're going to break through this 80 area. Look for a pullback to retest, possibly retest all the way back into the 74 like we talked about, and then push up in this 87. So if you have one or more contracts in the long term, 
the swing trades just uh, keep those on be patient be very patient and again profit within the next two or three days more than likely unless the bears just step right on in so keep an eye on this big picture if you have any questions contact frank at tradestalkers.com and have a great day